What if I told you that the very thing we depend on for survival, agriculture, is actually destroying our planet and our health? For thousands of years, farming has shaped human civilization, but at what cost? From wiping out entire ecosystems to feeding us nutritionally poor crops, agriculture is at the root of both environmental destruction and the chronic diseases that plague us today. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the hidden dangers of agriculture and explore a sustainable solution that could heal both the planet and our bodies. Imagine standing in the middle of an expansive landscape that once teemed with life, forests so dense that sunlight barely reached the ground, wetlands brimming with biodiversity, and prairies alive with wildlife. This is what the Earth looked like before the dawn of agriculture, a planet alive with interconnected ecosystems all working together in harmony. But now, when you look out, what do you see? Miles of barren farmland, lifeless rows of crops stretching to the horizon, rivers clogged with silt, and a sky empty of the birds that once filled the air. The lush, vibrant ecosystems that once covered the earth have been systematically destroyed, and agriculture is the primary culprit. Agriculture, often celebrated as the foundation of human progress, is actually one of the most destructive forces in history. To grow food, whether it's wheat, corn, soy, or any other crop, we must first clear the land of its natural inhabitants. This means cutting down forests, draining wetlands, and plowing up prairies. What remains is bare, lifeless soil. The intricate ecosystems that once thrived there, plants, animals, insects, and microorganisms, all wiped out, leaving behind only barren land to grow crops. This isn't just happening in isolated areas, it's a global phenomenon. Agriculture has spread like a virus, consuming vast areas of the planet, turning once thriving ecosystems into lifeless monocultures. And the effects of this are devastating. Forests are being felled acre by acre, wetlands are drained, and prairies are flattened. The destruction caused by agriculture is responsible for the sixth mass extinction, wiping out species at an unprecedented rate by taking away their habitats. But the damage isn't limited to the land and its creatures. The soil itself, the very foundation of life on Earth, is being eroded. When land is cleared for agriculture, the deep-rooted perennial plants that hold the soil together are removed, leaving the earth exposed to the elements. Without these plants, the soil quickly erodes, washing into rivers and streams, clogging waterways, and causing massive dead zones where aquatic life can no longer survive. Agriculture destroys the delicate balance of nature, not just in one place but across entire continents. This pattern of destruction has repeated itself throughout history. Every civilization that has relied heavily on agriculture has eventually collapsed. The ancient Maya, the Egyptians, the Mesopotamians, the Romans, all of these civilizations rose to prominence through agriculture, only to fall as they exhausted the land. They cleared forests, drained wetlands, and built vast irrigation systems to grow food for growing populations. But in doing so, they destroyed the ecosystems that sustained them. Their once fertile land turned to desert, rivers dried up, and the soil was stripped of its nutrients. In the end, their agricultural empires crumbled, leaving behind nothing but ruins. The collapse of these civilizations is not a coincidence, it is the inevitable outcome of a system that prioritizes short-term food production over long-term environmental sustainability. Agriculture depletes the land, exhausts natural resources, and destroys the very ecosystems that humans depend on. And today, we are repeating the same mistakes on a global scale. The agricultural practices that led to the collapse of past civilizations are the same ones that are driving us toward ecological disaster today. We've seen this story play out before, and unless we change course, we too will face collapse. Agriculture has taken us to the brink of environmental destruction, and the consequences are becoming more and more apparent. But the destruction doesn't stop at the environment. Agriculture has also made us the sickest species on the planet thanks to the poor nutrition it offers. It's not just the planet that's suffering, our health has deteriorated in tandem with the rise of agriculture. Before the agricultural revolution, humans were remarkably healthy. Archaeological and paleontological evidence shows that our ancestors, who lived as hunter-gatherers, were physically robust. They had strong bones, perfect dental health, and lived free from many of the chronic diseases that plague us today. Their diets were diverse and nutrient-dense, consisting of meat, fish, fruits, nuts, and seeds, foods that provided all the essential nutrients our bodies need to thrive. The introduction of agriculture, however, marked a sharp decline in human health, 
As humans transitioned to farming, their diets became centered around grains like wheat, corn, rice, and barley. These crops are nutritionally inferior to the animal-based foods that humans had evolved to eat. Grains are high in carbohydrates but deficient in the proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals that our bodies need to function optimally. One of the most significant problems with a grain-heavy diet is the lack of complete proteins. Proteins are composed of amino acids, nine of which are essential, meaning our bodies cannot produce them and must obtain them from our diet. Animal-based proteins such as those found in meat, eggs, and fish are complete proteins, providing all nine essential amino acids in the right proportions. However, plant-based proteins, especially those from grains, are incomplete, lacking one or more essential amino acids. This deficiency hinders muscle repair, immune function, and overall vitality. Take, for example, tryptophan, an essential amino acid that plays a critical role in the production of serotonin, the neurotransmitter that regulates mood, sleep, and behavior. Without sufficient tryptophan, individuals are more likely to suffer from mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. This is not just a mental health issue, it's a nutritional issue, caused by a diet that relies too heavily on crops and lacks the high-quality proteins found in animal products. In addition to amino acids, Grains are also poor sources of bioavailable vitamins and minerals. Many of the nutrients found in grains are bound to compounds like phytates, which inhibit their absorption. For example, the zinc, calcium, and iron found in grains are difficult for the human body to absorb due to the presence of phytates. This leads to widespread deficiencies, even in people who consume sufficient calories. Perhaps the most glaring deficiency in crop-based diets is the lack of vitamin B12, a nutrient that is only found in animal products. Vitamin B12 is essential for the production of red blood cells, DNA synthesis, and neurological function. A deficiency in B12 can lead to anemia, fatigue, cognitive decline, and irreversible nerve damage. For people following vegan or heavily plant-based diets, obtaining adequate B12 is nearly impossible without supplementation. Another critical nutrient often missing from a crop-based diet is DHA, an omega-3 fatty acid that is crucial for brain health. DHA and EPA, both omega-3 found in animal-based foods, are essential for reducing inflammation, promoting cognitive function, and supporting cardiovascular health. While plant-based foods like flaxseed contain ALA, another type of omega-3, the human body must convert ALA into DHA and EPA. Unfortunately, this conversion process is highly inefficient, leaving those relying on plant-based omega-3 with insufficient levels of these vital fats. Over time, the deficiencies caused by a crop-based diet have led to the rise of chronic illnesses that were virtually non-existent before the agricultural revolution. Conditions like obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and autoimmune disorders can all be traced back to the poor nutrition provided by agricultural crops. The rise of grains as the foundation of the human diet has contributed to widespread insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to insulin, leading to high blood sugar levels and, eventually, type 2 diabetes. Grains, particularly wheat, are also responsible for the rise of autoimmune diseases. Gluten, the protein found in wheat, barley, and rye, is highly inflammatory and can damage the gut lining in susceptible individuals. This damage can lead to a condition known as leaky gut, where undigested food particles and toxins enter the bloodstream, triggering an immune response. Over time, this immune response can develop into autoimmune disorders like celiac disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and other chronic conditions. The diseases of civilization, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, are not inevitable. They are the direct result of a diet that is fundamentally mismatched to our biology. For millions of years humans thrived on a diet of nutrient-dense animal-based foods, but with the rise of agriculture we traded these life-sustaining foods for nutritionally poor crops and the consequences have been devastating. In stark contrast to the destruction caused by agriculture, nature has a perfect system for nourishing the land, ruminants. These animals, which include cows, bison, and sheep, are uniquely equipped to help restore ecosystems and provide nutrient-dense food for humans. But there's a fascinating detail about how ruminants thrive that most people don't understand. You might think that cows and bison are grass-fed, and while that's true to an extent, it's not the whole story. Ruminants don't actually feed on grass directly. Instead, 
they rely on a special digestive process that involves an intricate partnership with bacteria. Ruminants have a four-chambered stomach, and the first chamber, called the rumen, is essentially a large fermentation vat. When ruminants eat grass they are not breaking down the cellulose themselves. Instead the bacteria in their rumen digest the grass for them. These bacteria break down the tough cellulose in the grass, fermenting it into fatty acids, which the ruminant can then absorb and use for energy. The byproducts of bacterial fermentation also include essential nutrients like vitamins B and K, which ruminants can synthesize thanks to their symbiotic relationship with these microbes. What's more, the bacteria themselves eventually become a food source for the ruminant. As the bacteria multiply and die, they are digested by the ruminant, providing high-quality protein and fatty acids. So, while it might look like cows are simply eating grass, they are actually feeding on a rich microbial ecosystem that provides them with the nutrients they need to grow and thrive. This process is incredibly efficient and allows ruminants to transform inedible grasses into high-quality, nutrient-dense food for humans. Ruminants play a critical role in regenerating soil health. As they graze, they trample the ground, mixing manure with the soil and helping to aerate and fertilize it. Their grazing also stimulates plant growth, encouraging the deep-rooted perennial plants that hold the soil together and prevent erosion. This natural cycle of grazing, digestion, and regeneration is the key to maintaining healthy ecosystems and restoring degraded land. If we are to reverse the damage that agriculture has done to both our planet and our bodies, we must change the way we think about food. The carnivore diet, one that emphasizes nutrient-dense, animal-based foods, is not just about personal health, it's also about environmental sustainability. By supporting regenerative agriculture and eating foods that are aligned with our biology, we can heal both our bodies and the planet. When animals like bison, cows, and sheep are allowed to graze naturally, they restore the health of the soil. Their manure fertilizes the land, helping grasses grow and sequestering carbon in the process. This method of farming, known as holistic grazing, can regenerate ecosystems, reverse desertification, and bring life back to degraded lands. Imagine a world where prairies are once again filled with bison, where forests are home to wolves and bears, and where rivers run clear and full of fish. By embracing a diet that is in harmony with nature, we can begin to restore the ecosystems we've destroyed and reclaim our health. We can return to the foods that sustained our ancestors for millions of years, nutrient-dense, animal-based foods that provide the essential proteins, fats, and vitamins we need to thrive. Agriculture has brought us to the brink of environmental and health collapse. The solution is clear, we must return to a way of eating that supports both the health of the planet and the health of humanity. By abandoning the destructive agricultural practices of the past and embracing sustainable, regenerative methods, we can heal the damage that has been done, both to ourselves and to the earth. The time to act is now. We have the power to stop the cycle of destruction that agriculture has created. By choosing better foods and supporting regenerative farming, we can help restore the balance between humanity and nature. If this message resonates with you, please help spread the word. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, and join the movement toward a healthier, more sustainable future for both humanity and the planet. Let's make the change, starting today.